the bacterium E. coli has an enzyme called as DNA polymerase 1. DNA polymerase 1 has a DNA polymerase active site and a 3' prime to 5' prime proofreading exonuclease active site. During DNA replication, DNA polymerase 1 shows its polymerization activity in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. This cytosine is a rare tautomeric form of cytosine. This cytosine pairs with adenine or A of template strand and is incorporated into the growing strand. Before DNA polymerase 1 moves on, this cytosine undergoes a tautomeric shift. The new nucleotide is now mispaired. The mispaired 3' prime OH end of the growing strand blocks further elongation. DNA polymerase 1 then slides back. As a result, mispaired base lie in the 3' prime to 5' prime exonuclease active site. The mispaired nucleotide is then removed. The DNA polymerase 1 then slides forward and resumes its polymerization activity in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. This removal of mispaired nucleotide before further primer extension by DNA polymerase 1 is called as proofreading. Proofreading improves the inherent accuracy of the polymerization reaction 10 to the power 2 to 10 to the power 3 fold. Now, some important points. In E. coli, a mistake is made only once for every 10 to the power 9 to 10 to the power 10 nucleotides added. E. coli chromosome has similarly equal to 4.6 into 10 to the power 6 base pair. It means an error occurs only once per 1000 to 10,000 replications. During polymerization, discrimination between correct and incorrect nucleotides relies on hydrogen bonds that specify the correct pairing between complementary bases and on the common geometry of standard AT and GC base pairs. DNA polymerases insert one incorrect nucleotide for every 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 5 correct ones in in vitro condition. Please like, subscribe and share.